guys, it's Michelle, and I'm on the Arc Valguero map. And today I'm going to be showing you how to get two artifacts out of the Temple Cave. Alright, so as you guys can see, I'm right at Green Obelisk. And I'm going to go ahead and show you my map. And I'm going to show you my coordinates as well. I'm at 47.7 by 82.8. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to be above the river right here. And with your back to green, you want to fly towards the top of this cliff over here. And you're actually looking for a glowing tree. And you want to go to the glowing tree right here. I'm going to go ahead and land. And this here, guys, is the entrance to two artifacts. So this entrance here in this cave is very dangerous. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go through spectator mode so I can show you guys where everything is located. But to show you guys how you activate it, there's actually a switch over here. It says button. And you can actually go ahead and press that button. So I'm going to show you what that does. and that opens a door. And to show you guys my exact coordinates for this, I'm right here on the map. My exact coordinates for the opening to the two artifacts is 46.7 by 87.3. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and go into spectator mode and I will see you guys in a second. All right guys, I'm in spectator mode right now and as you can see I can't press a button right now that's because I'm in spectator mode but I'm just gonna go ahead and go through the door and the lighting in here is a bit weird as of right now so it might change a bit as I go through yep so it goes very very dark so you're gonna have to bring a torch but you just follow through and you're going to notice this area here. And what you want to do is you actually want to drop down here. Now, you can bring a flyer through here right now, but what you want to do is you actually want to come down here through this tunnel. Like I said, guys, it's very dangerous. As you can see, there's bats and there's other things too. But what you want to do is you want to follow through here, go through this tunnel, and right here straight ahead of me guys is a rock. And you actually need to break this rock here that I'm looking at with a pickaxe. So once you break it, you get to go through. and go through here, go down, turn the corner, keep going, and you're going to see even more bats here. But you just keep going. You're probably going to have to fight them off most definitely. Follow the trail, Just stay along the path. Now, through here, there's an area where you can go in the water. And as you guys can see, there's my practice pterodon. So you can get a flyer through here, up to a certain point. And you go through underneath the water. And then there's this area here. And there's lots of nasty bats and other things in here that want to hurt you. So what you want to do is you want to go forward and you're going to notice this pillar right here in the center. 
and you want to go past the pillar and you're actually looking at the top and if you look up you're going to notice a purple glow and that's actually one of the artifacts. Now if you are coming in here just on foot you're definitely going to need grappling hooks or climbing picks. And there you guys go, this is one of the artifacts right here. Alright, so to get to the second artifact in this cave, because remember there are two artifacts, what you want to do is you want to come back the way you came. So I'm going to go ahead and turn around. You would jump down here, or you would parachute down, whichever you prefer. come back around and the beginning is over here because you can notice the red crystals my pterodon is still parked out over here and what you want to do is you want to come back through here so you would crawl through here go underneath the water go underneath come back out You're going to come over here, there's water to your left, but we're not interested in that. And when you come up this ramp and through this tunnel, it's quite a bit of a lengthy tunnel, go up, around, all right. I'm going to stop here because you guys will notice that there is this tree here. So just to show you guys, there is a tree here. And if you notice carefully, there's a way to the right where the two bats are. And there's actually an area to the left. So what you want to do is you want to go to the left. And now you'll notice that there are bats and there's water to your right but we're not interested in that. You want to go down this tunnel here, this little walkway. Follow it. There's only one path to go. Alright, and then it leads you here. Now there is a left and there is a right. What you want to do is you want to go to the left. So I went to the left, come down, taking my time, going nice and slowly so you guys can see, and now I'm in this area here, and this is actually where the second artifact is located. So just come up over here, and there you guys can see it, and you know you've come to the right area when you see these pillars here. And you see the artifact right behind it. Just want to take a second and show you guys this. Alright, so once you grab this artifact, this is where it gets tricky. You want to come back the way you came. So you would come down naturally along this ramp. back through the tunnel and remember this is where it forked off and we took remember I was facing this way and we went this way okay so what you need to do now is you need to go right to get out I'm gonna follow this there's only one way, that's a dead end right there. Right, and keep following along. And then as you come up, you're going to see this area here. And this is a nice little open area with all of those little bats. Okay? And if you look up, that's actually where we came from. So what you want to do is you want to come up. Again, climbing picks or that pterodon that I left back there, if you still have your flyers, you can use those. Um, 
come back up and then out this door. It's a bit weird. All right, and then come up through here. This is the stairway we came. And then this door right here might be closed, but if it is closed, all you have to do, guys, is look right here, and there is a switch, again, that lets you out. So you will press that switch there, the door will open, and then you get to come back out. And that, guys, is how you get two of the artifacts in the temple. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.